cheer on their beloved team. And there's a little chill in the air for today's game between the Bandits and the home team. And here comes the home team. Buddy Brad Nessler, Lee Corso, and Kirk Herbstreet here ready and excited to bring you what appears to be another great gridiron matchup. Kirk, how do you see this one? This really looks like a deadlock. This could go to either team. Well, in a close matchup like this, I always like to look at the individual. The away team has been a little suspect at times this year against the run, and the challenge for them will be to slow down this running attack and this running back. And I'm going to tell you something. I don't think they have the personnel to do it. That's a nice pick. A nice pick. The home team is going to win this one because of one reason, their ability to run the football. Thanks, guys. Should be an exciting game. Now let's get down to midfield where they're ready for the coin toss. Gatlin is lined up to kick this one off. Sanford and Schneider deep to return. Sanford takes it at the four. He spins around. I take this kid aside and shake him. He ran right into the coverage team. They'll go to work at the 16. The Bandits line up with three receivers bunch. Newsom brings him down. And the tailback picks up great yardage on the run. How many times did we see him run that play in practice this week? Oh, a thousand times. And it was just as successful then as it is right now. Dyer is the single setback. And he's taken down at the 34. Three yards there on the play. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on the 34. Dyer lines up as a single back. Crockett gives it up the middle. Got an opening. And down he goes. What a run. Here they give it to the tailback and a little misdirection play. And you can see the athleticism and the ability to make guys miss. Nice play. It's first and ten. Ball right around midfield. Bunch formation. They're going to pitch it. Spin move. He didn't get much on that play at all. Brad, the defense had that play read and sealed it off from the get-go. Second and 13 coming up here. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. Single set backfield. On the ground with the tailback. And they hit him in the backfield. The halfback couldn't get any running room. And that was because the defense had called a blitz just at the right time. He went right through the offensive line and nailed him for a loss. Third down, 15. Ball on the 42. Dyer, the lone back, setting up the play action. Steps up in the pocket. And got it complete. Quinn with a takedown at the 49-yard line. They pick up solid yardage there. Yeah, nice little pitch and catch there. The wideout was able to find a little open space in the defense. And the quarterback was able to get him the ball for a good pickup. You'd expect him to punt here, but it looks like they're not thinking that way. And that one's fallen incomplete. They'll turn the ball over on down. Questionable play calling there by the coaching staff. It's way too early in the game to be going for it on fourth down. I would have punted the ball in that situation. Five wide. They'll throw on first down under heavy pressure. Got it to his receiver. And he's taken down at the 32. He got up in the air and made the catch. Well, oh, that's all about timing, too, because if he jumped too early, he wouldn't have been able to catch that ball. Jones lines up as a single back. Jones, left side. There's a missed tackle. And down he goes. And that was a fantastic run by the tailback. This defense has got to get back to the basics. Just a simple counterplay, and they were not ready at all. I don't know. They're just getting overpowered right now up front. About two minutes before halftime. Single set backfield. They'll throw on first down. Steps up. Throws this one out to the left. And it's caught. And he's taken down at the eight. The home team are going to take a timeout. And they've got two remaining.
He'll keep it on the ground again. Williams brings him down. The offense calls a timeout. That was their second timeout. Let's see if they can punch this one in. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And it pays off. Touchdown. Nice job by the running back getting in for the touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. So with less than two to go in the second quarter, our score is the home team, seven, the Bandits, nothing. Kicks it off. Schneider takes it at the eight. Their last drive ended when they decided to try for it on fourth down and were turned away by the defense. They'll get the ball here at the 28-yard line. They line up in a double tight set. He's got an opening with the spin, and down he goes. And the delayed handoff works for a big game. Got to be happy with the effort there by your tailback. You are absolutely right. First and 10. Ball on the 47-yard line. They come out with three wide receivers. Crockett gives it up the middle. He's got a lot of green. Newsom with a takedown at the 43-yard line. A good 10 yards on the pickup. Second and less than a yard. Ball on the 43 from the gun. Humphrey brings him down. Four yards gained on that quarterback draw. First and 10. Ball on the 39-yard line. Crockett is back in the gun. He's under pressure. Incomplete. And he threw the ball into coverage. Man, I tell you, he's lucky that defense didn't come away with that one. It's second down and 10 to go. This is the fifth play of this drive. Crockett lines up with five wide out. He drops back, looking. Found his man. Touchdown! This guy can really run away from a defense, Coach. Listen up. This kid is a big-time game-breaker. He has that kind of speed. He hits the PAT. Less than a minute remains in the second quarter, and our score is the Bandits, seven, and the home team, seven. He kicks it. Jones fields it in the end zone. Spinning. He's going to come out. It looks like he was hurt on that last play. Well, it doesn't look like it's too serious, guys, but you never know. Sometimes those small injuries turn into season-ending ones. They'll start this drive at the 21-yard line. The home team come out in the ace formation. Vincent off the right side, and he's taken down at the 24. They get three yards on the play. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on their own 24, and they have three bunched. Go on the handoff. He's got a lot of green, and down he goes. When you break one like that, you've got to give credit to the offensive line. They'll throw on first down. He steps up. He's in trouble. Wants to throw outside. Got him. Inside the 30. To the 10. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. They had some trouble defending that one, Coach. Hey, this is just a great play by the offense, Brad. Watch that delivery. It doesn't get much better than that.
and he tacks on the extra point. Folks, let's pause. We'll see what kind of halftime adjustments were made as we prepare to start the second half. And they'll be returning this one. Jones fields it at the three. A little shake and bake move. Good coverage by the kicking team. Yep. Beautiful job of playing their assignments right there. They'll set up shot at the 17. One man backfield. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Incomplete pass. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. On the ground, up the middle. Williams with a takedown at the 20. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. It's third down and seven to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Single set backfield. Back to pass. Steps up. Throws it to the outside. Got it. At the 40. Across midfield. At the 40. At the 30. To the 20. To the 10. He's going to take it to the barn. Touchdown. The defense just can't keep up with it. He has lightning speed. He's just so quick and elusive after he catches the football. And he hits the PAT. Just over a minute to go here in the third quarter. And the score, the home team, 21. And the Bandits, 7. Kicks it off. Sanford fields it at the three, spins up field. That's a good job by the coverage team there, staying in their lanes and not allowing the returner to break free. They'll take over at the 18. The home team line up with six defensive backs. He steps up across the middle, found his man. He goes down. This quarterback doesn't seem to be having any trouble with the zone, does he? He recognized the receiver was behind the coverage, and he found him with a perfect strike. That's nice passing for a first down. The home team bring in their dime package. Pressure coming. He's looking. Coach, you made a nice defensive play there. He sure did. He just stuck his hand out and hit the football. Second and 10. Ball on the 43-yard line. Ace backfield. Crockett drops the throw. Looks. Let's it go. And an outstanding play defensively. Yeah, he timed it perfectly and managed to get a hand in there to deflect the ball away. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 43. The Bandits line up with three wide. Looking, steps up in the pocket. Fires a bullet over the middle. Off his hands, incomplete. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. He drops back. He's looking. He throws it. It falls incomplete. And they turn the ball over. Should they have punted in that situation? Even though they're down, you're right. I think they should have punted. They'll get the ball here at the 43-yard line. They line up in a double tight set. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And he's taken down. The halfback gets the call and picks up five. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 38. One man backfield. They option left. And now he's got room to run. The 10. He's all the way. Touchdown. Unbelievable run by the quarterback. Not only did he have awareness to run for the huge game, but he also managed to find the end zone for the score. Great play. And he tacks on the extra point. Just a few seconds remaining now in the third quarter. And our score, the home team, 28. The Bandits, 7. We should have a return on this one. Sanford fields it at the nine. He spins. 
The offense heads out onto the field. In their last series, they opted to try and convert a fourth down, and they came up short. They'll go to work at the 22-yard line. The Bandits line up with two tight ends. Looks. And they do a good job at swatting that one away. You're right, Brad. Excellent awareness by the defender to know where the football is and his get his hand on it. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 22. The Bandits come out in a bunch formation. Looking over the middle. And that was a good defensive play. Yeah, guys, this is because he's in great position to make the play. Third and ten. Ball on the 22-yard line. The Bandits set up in the gun. Crockett back to throw. Steps up. Complete. He's all the way down to the 43. That'll get some good yardage for the receiver. This kid is one heck of a wideout. He's the guy you got to get the ball to as much as you can because he can do things that make you say, whoa. There are two minutes to go in this football game. The home team line up in a nickel back. Drops back to pass. He steps up. He unloads it. And that one's fallen incomplete. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. It's second down and 10 to go. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. The Bandits line up with three wide. He's looking. And as he throws, got him again. McLaughlin brings him down. A decent gain on the pass. Yo, Kirk. Good job by the quarterback here reading this play. Yeah, the defense came with a blitz, and you're right. Great job by this young quarterback of recognizing the coverage and spotting the open man. Crockett steps back to pass. Looks. Throws it to the outside. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. Second and ten, and this is the seventh play of the current drive. Crockett off the fake, looking, lets it fly. Coach, you made a nice defensive play there. He sure did. He just stuck his hand out and hit the football. And here's our red zone players of the game. Red zone, when performance matters the most. The home team bringing the nickel package. He's looking. Steps up in the pocket. Going deep on the left side. And an outstanding play defensively. Yeah, he timed it perfectly and managed to get a hand in there to deflect the ball away. Let's see if they can convert. Here we go. Looks. He rolls out to the right. Fires. Not much of a chance on that one. Well, he had to go for it. We're at a point where there's not much time left, and you got to put it all on the line. The home team go with the I formation. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And down he goes at the 32. And not too much there on that run. Not too much, but the key here is try to milk as much time as possible. The home team line up in an I formation. With a takedown, the fullback bangs it in there for a gain of six. Third and two, ball on the 38. The home team go with the eye formation. On the ground with the tailback. And he's taken down. And they just stopped that one. Hey, this is a great play here by the defense to bring him down before he could get to the sticks. The Bandits call for a timeout. And that was their first timeout. They come out in a punt formation. Barron punts it, and it's a good one. Schneider takes it to the 16. 
Now, the reason why that's a good opportunity for the returner to run it back is because of the pressure up front. When there's pressure, the punt protection team always blocks a little longer, and they don't get down the field as fast. From the gun. Crockett to the air on first down. Wants the middle. Schneider drops it. 